The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. During today's session, we continue hearing testimonies from a witness through remote participation through the video link. We already heard uh, parts of his testimony, and uh, today we will proceed with the co-prosecutors to put questions. But before that, we would like to inform the WESU that se faire, nous voudrions dire à l'unité d'appui aux témoins et aux experts ce qui suit. With regard to TCW 542, and due to the fact that we perhaps cannot uh, hear this witness ne pourra peut-être pas être entendu today the witness can be excused and return home ce témoin peut donc rentrer chez lui any hearing with regard to this uh, the examination of this witness will be informed in due course and it is most likely that uh, the hearing on the witness de, will de not be conducted until some time early next year in January. The prochaine. Western Unit is advised uh, janvier, to donc, bring the witness back home safe and sound. We now témoin. proceed to the hearing on the testimonies of Mr. Long Norin. Norin. Good morning, Mr. Long Norin. Bonjour, Long Norin. Do you hear me? Est-ce que vous m'entendez? The president continues. This morning, the chamber continues hearing your testimony. Nous allons continuer à entendre Yesterday, we left off with uh, the section when the prosecutors was about to present some document and uh, we now will proceed uh, with uh, the request uh, by the prosecutor. Ce document va donc maintenant être montré. Prosecutors are advised to identify or Et tell the court the code of the document precisely before it can be projected on the screen. Sur les hmm. uh, good morning, uh, Mr. President, Your Honours. Uh, this is a document uh, that was uh, identified by the co-prosecutors in the uh, um, uh, filing of documents uh, when we were asked to identify the documents that we were going to use with the first eight witnesses or civil parties. Uh, it is a, a, a new document uh, that was not on the case file that we discovered at that time. Uh, and so we have Khmer, English, and ERN versions of it, and we also have hard copies copies with us uh, uh, for, for the court and for, uh, for the parties to, to use. Uh, the Khmer ERN that was identified in our uh, filing, which was E131-1-4.1 at page, <coughs> excuse me, ERN 00750-300. Uh, it was document number 171 on that list. And the Khmer ERN is Zero 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 three seven zero nine two three seven two five. The English ERN is zero 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 three zero nine two three seven two five. And the ERN is zero zero seven five four two nine eight. 
uh, through to uh, 754308. And excuse me one moment for, for the French URM. A 5308 et pour le français. The French URN, uh, uh, Your Honors, is 00752352 to 366. Now, my, my understanding is that these documents would be available on the shared materials drive. But because I know sometimes uh, that access doesn't work perfectly, we did bring hard copies with us if anybody needs a hard copy in either Khmer, English, or French. The President, Court Officer, is now instructed to present the document. document. Are they available both in Khmer and English -ce que ce uh, est for presentation? En Khmer et en the President continues. Uh, is uh, the document, document on the screen in Khmer? En Khmer? Uh, Mr. President, yeah, the, we plan Alors, to use the screen to show the Khmer version of the document so that the witness can understand it. If anybody uh, wants an English or French copy, uh, hard copy, we have those available. So, but we thought that the witness will need to see this, so we would use the Khmer version. Le témoin devait voir ce texte en Khmer. The President, thank you. You may proceed. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mr. President, I believe um, Q. Sampan's counsel is like to take us up on the offer for a French copy, so if we Je crois que la défense de Sampan souhaiterait avoir un exemplaire papier en français. Nous voudrions donc faire parvenir à l'équipe de défense. Dans toutes les langues, Monsieur le coprocureur, s'il vous plaît. In all three languages, if you please, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. The president, uh, can legal officer bring a French and English version to our judges? Anglaise et française au juge. Some group look thin. Mr. President, I think it is uh, appropriate uh, if uh, all versions of the documents are available to all the parties because I haven't obtained uh, all the available versions. The President, uh, indeed, uh, to facilitate oui, this, pour, uh, and on top of the documents the that is now being shown on the screen, uh, hard copies of the op documents should be made available to parties involved. In particular, 
uh, the versions in all the language uh, used uh, at the court should be available to parties Et and toutes to, uh, the, the chamber. We should now follow this uh, practice in the future uh, as well if the documents need to, to be uh, made available to parties in such a situation. Ainsi produit. The president, is uh, everything already? And uh, if it is ready, prêt? then uh, the prosecutor, you may now proceed. Si oui, les co I haven't, uh, sorry, I haven't received Maître a copy Pesman, of the document. Je pas reçu du document monsieur. Moi non plus, monsieur le président, oh. en français, pour moi. No, <coughs> Mr. President, in French, please. The President, Graf Chase, you are now instructed to make sure that the uh, party has received all the available documents before we can proceed. Good morning, Mr. President. Perhaps in the future, this can be done prior, prior to uh, the commencement of the proceedings. Sheer courtesy. For reasons of pure courtesy. The President, uh, thank you, Council, for your observation. The Chamber would like to remind parties that uh, if you wish to present documents on the screen, in particular documents in relation to case file zero, 02-01, you are advised to make sure that the documents are available prior to the commencement of the proceeding. Please be advised. And please do that expeditiously so that we can really make uh, the most of our time wisely. The co-prosecutors, you may now proceed uh, with the questions. Vous vos questions. Yeah, just first, quickly, uh, Mr. President, just so the record is clear, uh, I did speak to a member of uh, the Ingsuri defense team uh, yesterday after court who asked for a copy. I gave him the ERNs, and I also gave him my email and said if he, if he had any problem getting it to contact me. So um, uh, I did make, make efforts to do that. But we will, we will make sure in the future that we uh, do this distribution uh, uh, before 9 o'clock. Um, the second thing, uh, uh, I request, uh, uh, hopefully it is uh, OK with the court, uh, that I uh, sit uh, during my questioning again, because that worked, worked well and allowed me to uh, see the witness. The President, uh, indeed, you are allowed uh, to remain seated the President, oui, vous pouvez rester assis.
Good morning, Mr. Long Miren. How are you feeling this morning? Bonjour, Monsieur Long Miren. Comment vous sentez-vous ce matin? Response. Uh, good morning. Bonjour. When, when we stopped yesterday, uh, I was uh, about to show you uh, what we believe uh, may have been a biography that you prepared. Um, so I would like now uh, to show you the first page or two pages of this document uh, to see if you if you recognize it. Uh, so I would ask uh, that you show uh, the first two pages of the Khmer uh, ERN starting with 000 <laughs> The uh, Mr. Longren, the page, the page that we're showing you now, uh, do you recognize the handwriting is yours? Response, yes, uh, it is mine. And if we could go back to the, to the first page, uh, please. Response, I can read as uh, the biography of Comrade c'est une biographie du camarade. Yeah, so now, Mr. President, actually the screen is not Mr. really uh, zoomed uh, out so that we can see the whole text yet. Long Noren, I can see uh, the biography of non, Comrade Ritt now, clearly. La biographie du camarade Ritt, je le vois bien maintenant. Is this the biography you prepared uh, following your conversation with Ying Sari that we discussed yesterday? Response, it was the biography that Réponse. I prepared oui, at a later date. C'est la biographie que j'ai préparée, rédigée plutôt uh, plus tard. The first page of the document, Question. Uh, is, that, is that your handwriting also Sur on the cover? la page du document, la page de couverture, est-ce que c'est aussi votre écriture? Response, yes, it is. Réponse, oui, c'est bien mon écriture. And the name that's identified on the cover page, was that your alien revolutionary uh, name during the uh, Democratic Cappuccaria period? Response, yes. Response, oui. I wanted to make sure something from yesterday was, was clear. Um, to the best of your recollection, what uh, year was it when you wrote this biography? Response. I don't uh, remember it very Réponse. well because Je because it has been more than 30 years ago. Was it during the time Question. period you worked at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Question. between April 1975 and January 1979?
Response, yes. Réponse, oui. And, and do you remember whether this was closer to the start uh, of the democratic cafeteria regime, uh, to closer to April 1975, or closer to the, to the end, towards January 1979? Response. I Réponse. prepared this biography during the period of democratic Kampuchea. Président, excusez-moi, mon cher confrère. Il me semble qu'il y a une difficulté euh, avec euh, la reconnaissance de ce document, qui est peut-être dû euh, au fait que M. Longdori n'est entendu via un lien vidéo, mais je vois difficilement comment est-ce que la, la reconnaissance par M. Longdorin euh, d'une première page projetée en vidéo d'un document pourrait servir de base à la validation de la totalité de la pièce. Il faudrait que M. Longdorin, avant que... Monsieur le procureur poursuive son, son travail, puisse consulter l'entier document pour le valider, parce que sinon, nous sommes dans l'expectative et nous ignorons si, pour l'instant, Monsieur Longnorin peut valider et reconnaître la totalité du document ou juste une couverture et quelques mots qui lui sont projetés. Euh, et qui, nous, à l'écran, euh, en tout cas, de la défense, euh, sont quasiment illisibles sur, euh, sur l'écran qui est le nôtre. Et je vois mal comment M. Longnorin peut reconnaître quoi que ce soit à partir d'un lien vidéo euh, aussi euh, modeste et à partir de deux pages sur un document qui en fait, euh, en langue française, 15. C'est l'observation que je, je voulais soulever dès maintenant pour ne pas qu'il y ait de difficultés ultérieures. Est-ce qu'il est prévu ou possible que M. Longnorin puisse examiner la totalité du document avant que nous considérions euh, possible euh, que celui-ci ait été validé par le témoin Le Président. Thank you. But uh, just now we noted that uh, Mr. Longnoren already read uh, the letters on the cover of the Monsieur document and acknowledged that uh, the handwriting was his. And in other pages, uh, the letters Et are the same. Le reste and du to document be est aussi manuscrit. Et est la même clear. We would like uh, to seek clarification from Mr. Longnorin whether he Monsieur sees the document that is being projected uh, on the screen. Voit-il le document qui lui est affiché à l'écran? Please tell the court Monsieur that uh, you see the letters. Si vous pouvez uh, lire clearly, or you only si le see document it, est lisible, uh, but uh, you can read the letters si and uh, you can only read, only read them with a glass uh, or a reading glasses. Uh, uh, if so, you are allowed to si wear your lunettes, glasses to porter. read the text. Response. Réponse Indeed, Your Honor, I need the glasses effet, uh, to read uh, this document.
Honey. Long than having worn these glasses, it's better for me to read the text than reading them with my bare eyes. There is another pair of glasses in my pocket in the room. J'ai aussi une autre paire de lunettes dans la poche dans ma chambre. Yes, Mr. President, uh, the glasses uh, have been found. Uh, the President, uh, we would like to ask Longnoren again to clarify on the documents. Uh, and at the same time, we would like uh, to also ask uh, the co-prosecutor whether all uh, the whole document will be subject si for examination today or only a few pages. Mr. President, uh, we are afraid we cannot really read uh, the document on the screen very clearly. The President, uh, thank you for uh, this observation, but we would like to ask uh, the co-prosecutor to get the response as to whether uh, we are going to examine the whole document or only a few pages uh, from this document and only uh, this uh, procedural formality is a uh, uh, solved that we can proceed with the Nous examination. En premier. Uh, ah. Your Honor, uh, Mr. President, we, we will not be asking about the every page of the non, document, non, but there is a, 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 a probably pages. three pages of it that we have trois some pages. specific questions Quelque about. Trois pages and um, what I'd suggest, we are able to, to zoom uh, zoom in so that the uh, print is larger on the screen he's looking. So I'd suggest that we try uh, uh, zooming in Je on the first paragraph that we wanted to ask him about and see whether he's able to, to read that. Uh, alternatively, uh, he may be able to read the document well enough to identify his handwriting, and we, uh, in that case, we can read into the record ourselves uh, to him uh, what, the, what the paragraphs are. But I'd suggest we first uh, try just to zoom in and see whether he's able to read, read, read the language when we do that. President, uh, thank you, but uh, Council, says the President, object the authentication, authentication of the document. La validation du document. And uh, that is why we need to really 
resolve this uh, issue, for example, pour whether the document is genuinely written by the si witness. Le bel et bien été After écrit de la main du having dealt with this, uh, we validé, then proceed uh, to the portions, the paragraphs that you would like uh, to ask the witness about. So first, we need to verify whether this document has been written vérifier. by the witness si le and also bel et bien écrit le document qui uh, lui est présenté. You may proceed with, uh, uh, with the questioning uh, when this issue is uh, addressed. Uh, it is good suggestion that you propose to the chamber that we need to zoom Toutefois, in so that uh, the letters bonne, effet, are document, larger and that uh, the witness can really uh, clarify Uh, because uh, by that it means the witness may see the, the letters écriture. clearly, so he can also tell the court whether now the writings are his. Yes, Your Honor. What, Mr. President, what I'd suggest we, then we do is okay. is go through and show him um, uh, briefly uh, each of the pages that we believe uh, are part of his biography. Have him confirm whether that is ha his handwriting or not, and then we will go back and start start with the specific paragraphs. Uh, so I would ask um, uh, that we show uh, the witness uh, each of the pages um, uh, up to uh, the last page, I would say, uh, Your Honors, I would note, uh, is clearly a page that was uh, a record that was kept by the uh, uh, document organization that located this record. Uh, but every other page the other than that, um, the if we could show that to the uh, witness now, oui, and Mr. Long Naren, if you could uh, look at the pages and please tell us uh, at the end whether whether or not uh, uh, this is all your handwriting. So what I'd like to confirm with you, uh, Mr. Long Narim, is with the exception of the last page where there is a chart, uh, does, this, does this document appear to be uh, contain your handwriting? Mr. Long, the, the pages that we've shown you are are those pages your handwriting? Yes, what you get your sure your page to look at. Mr. Long Naren, can you hear this Monsieur question? And uh, Mr. Question. Uh, Somnang, uh, you are there. Vous Have you heard uh, what the co-prosecutor asked? Uh, and if you could hear that and si Mr. Long Naren cannot, uh, or could Long not, then entendre, please uh, ask, uh, si uh, uh, tell him, repeat the question. 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 Otherwise, we cannot really Sinon, proceed smoothly. Uh, mm -hmm. Response, uh, the contents of the pages that I have read so far on the screen are mine, my writing. 
Uh, Mr. President, at, at this time I'd like to, to go back to uh, Khmer ERN page uh, 00003710 uh, and ask him about uh, one of the uh, uh, paragraphs on that page. And if we could put on the put on the screen uh, the second paragraph that starts with the words uh, the contemptible touch chia. Mr. Longren, my, my first question uh, today, uh, yesterday uh, you indicated, uh, you described a conversation with uh, Ing Suri uh, in which he asked you whether you were CIA and asked you whether you had uh, a relation with Tach, Mr. Tach Chia. My first question is whether uh, the person that you were discuss discussing yesterday is the same person that you uh, that is uh, referenced uh, in this part of your biography. Yes, it's Tachia response. And was the Tachia that you studied with uh, at the pedo uh, pedagogical school uh, and the, uh, uh, the person that Ing Sri asked you about? Response, yes, uh, we studied uh, together. My, my question is whether, whether that is the same uh, same Tach Chia who later went on to become uh, the Deputy Minister of Education in the Law Noel government. Tachia later on became the students association of that uh, uh, that that school. Do you know whether or not this uh, he also held a position uh, with the minister Ministry of Education with the Law Noel government? Response during Lonol regime, Tachi had uh, contacts with the government. Tachi had contacts with the government. And can you tell the chamber whether this is the same Tachi? Uh, who was taken hostage uh, by students in Phnom Penh in 1974 and shot uh, along with the uh, Minister of Education. Response, I don't know. At that time, Killings took place, but I don't know who were killed. Il y avait eu des exécutions, 
mais je ne sais pas qui I a été tué. Do not remember the details because it has been very long je time. Je ne me souviens pas très bien des détails. Cela remonte à il y a bien longtemps. Could you please tell the chamber why it is in your biography that you refer to Mr. Tachchia as the contemptible Tachchia? Response. Réponse. Uh, we were close. We were close. We played Nous football together Nous every day. Oh. Although I did Foot not really start it with him until we completed the a uh, school year I, I studied with him in grade 5 and grade 6 only Avec that's why I uh, uh, met with him and we played football together and I called nous him nous um, ensemble. A in Khmer we can be contemptible but uh, in a more friendly way par mais and I uh, was a student at the same school, we joined the same uh, football fois. team, Donc à we played nous étions football sur la même together. De foot. Are you telling the chamber that your reference to him as contemptible was intended to be a friendly reference? Vous dites que méprisable pouvait avoir une connotation affectueuse? Response, yes. Réponse, oui. Why was it uh, that Mr. Ingsuri wanted you to identify uh, and explain your relationship uh, with this person? Response. Réponse. Although I don't know the clearly, but the, I was implicated Je ne sais pas exactement or accused comment, uh, of being a CIA agent. That's why I was asked to write CIA. my, my biography in detail. And you said yesterday that you were told by Mr. Ing Sri that Tach Chia was a CIA agent. Is that correct? Mr. Ing Sri, you said that Tach Chia was an agent of the CIA. Is that correct? Response. Response. I knew that Takchia was a CIA agent Je savais que because était un agent de la CIA. he had contacts with the embassies, Car the embassies that have tendency Il with the CIA agent and I really contacted with only the embassies that belong to the socialist countries. How, how did ambassade? you know that he had contacts with embassies with tendencies towards the CIA? Response. Réponse. At that time, there was a film that was shown at the pedagogical school, film and the film was 
borrowed from the embassy. C'est un film. The embassies that la bande avait été empruntée. That uh, belonged to the Western country. So Takchi had that connection, and I did not, not have such connection because I uh, seem to have ambassades. more connection with the socialist uh, pas de uh, countries. Je plus de contact avec les pays socialistes. Let me step back uh, for a moment, um, Mr. Longren. Could you tell us what the reason, what the purpose was of preparing biographies during the period of democratic Campuchia? Pourquoi on demandait aux gens de rédiger des biographies sous le Campuchia démocratique? I'm not sure I understand than the real motive Je of such a preparation of biography, but I guess that uh, the bi biography was uh, prepared uh, because uh, people wanted to know whether we were um, affi affiliated with any organization. We wanted to know if we were affiliated with any organization. And when you say whether you were affiliated with any organizations, are you, what type of organizations are you referring to? What type of organizations are you referring to? Response. Indeed, I was a student Réponse. who stayed at the pedagogical school. I think the main en issue effet, behind this was uh, that uh, the film was borrowed uh, from the Western le, Embassy ce, to be projected and shown to the students at the school, and that's the main problem. My, my question, uh, Mr. Longeren, goes to the general reason for preparing biographies. And you indicated it was to be able to determine whether you had connections or affiliations with any organizations. What I'm asking is, uh, what organizations was the party interested in determining whether you had any connections to? Response at that time, there was an organization called Yutibung Scout Association. association des scouts Yutibung. Later on, we then um, created another group called Pet. Weraman Scout Association. There was no other organization or political organization involved uh, that I had been involved. In. I mean, I only engaged in the Scout uh, Association. When you wrote this biography, did you understand uh, that you were being uh, expected to demonstrate your loyalty to the party and whether you had uh, contacts or relationships with the CIA uh, or persons considered enemies of the party. Response. Uh, I was just asked uh, to be honest uh, when writing the biography. 
Yeah, so now, Mr. President, uh, the witness would like to go to the bathroom if you allow. The President, indeed, uh, he is allowed to go to the bathroom. Mr. President, the uh, witness is now back. Le témoin de retour, Monsieur le Président. The President, the prosecutor, you may now continue questioning the witness. I'd like to show you now uh, page uh, 00037-24 uh, of your biography, Mr. Long Naren. If we could show that on the screen. And if we could zoom in, zoom in to... It is not clear to me, uh, the screen and the letters are not clear enough. Yes, well, we will zoom in to the, uh, to the top part uh, of the document. Uh, are you able to, to see that now, Mr. Longren? Mr. President, uh, this document is not uh, shown in its uh, entirety. It, uh, certain part of it is blocked, so I would like to ask the technician to adjust it accordingly. Mr. Sungang, is that uh, clear now on your side? Yes, uh, we can see it, but uh, unfortunately the letters are too small. Once uh, it is uh, enlarged, uh, then uh, certain part of this page is blocked, Mr. President. The, 
Let, let me first confirm, Is does this page uh, also your handwriting, Mr. Longnorin? Mr. Longnorin, is this page of diagnosis a page that has been written by you? Answer, yes, yes, it is my handwriting. So I'd like to, to, uh, to zoom on the, the top part of, of the document, and I, I will read into the record what is, what is written on that. At the uh, uh, at the top of this page uh, the, is the word summary, and then the following uh, sentences uh, follow. Uh, quote: During my study, my life contacts were deeply dark. I was in contact with the people who later betrayed the country or conspired with the traitors. In addition, my living was not very clean. For example, I used money and did business to be better off. My sexual morality was not very clean. Thanks to the virtue of Ankar, I have embarked on a right way, the way of Cambodian revolution. I have strived to build up myself in accordance with the instructions of Ankar. What I wanted to ask you first, Mr. Longnerin, is to explain to the court uh, why you wrote this, uh, these sentences in your biography. I wanted to show the party that I have been honest with the Anka. I did not have anything to hide uh, from Anka. When I was uh, studying, uh, that was all about my life. And once I joined the revolution, I refashioned myself. The, uh, the sentence that says uh, where you say that you were in contact with the people who later betrayed the country or conspired with the traitors, um, throughout this document there are numerous references to people who are, who are also referred to as contemptible. Um, my question is whether in addition to Tach Chia, whether there were other persons uh, that you were asked to explain your contacts with in the past. Who, who was it that uh, told you? Question. Qui vous a dit uh, qu'il y avait des gens qui avaient trahi la nation ou qui s'étaient alliés avec des traîtres? et au sujet desquels vous deviez vous expliquer dans votre biographie. Qui vous a dit de qui vous deviez parler dans votre biographie My close friends, namely Ruhpen, who was a novelist, Chawa, who 
who resided in Kampong Thom province. At that time, uh, when we were studying, uh, we divided our uh, uh, we divided into two group of students. Actually, we uh, we uh, designate ourselves uh, to be part of those two uh, groups. One group represents the leftists uh, who consider themselves as clean, and the other groups are the uh, liberal. So one group would try to persuade other students to join their own group. Those who refuse to join are considered traitors. My, my question, um, Mr. Long Noren, is that Ing Sri identified one person, uh, Mr. Tach Chia, um, who you were to explain your contacts with. Did he also identify other people who were traitors who you needed to explain your past contacts and relationship with? Answer. I am sorry, I cannot recall. Je suis désolé, je ne me pas. I did not remember whether or not I told them anything at that time. Si je leur ai dit chose à ce In the uh, page that um, uh, we've been showing you, uh, there is also a statement uh, about your sexual morality not being very clean. Why was it that you needed to explain to the party about your sexual morality? Answer. Mr. Sumnam, the prosecutor asked why you had to demonstrate your sexual morality uh, to Anka. Answer. Uh, at that time, as I said, the leftists, those who belong to the leftist group, considered themselves as clean people. But the other side, the other groups, uh, the leftists would consider them as unclean. I have friends in both groups. What happened to people who were considered Question. unclean or people who were found to have relationships with traitors or people who had betrayed the party? Mr. Sunan, uh, the question is what happens to those who were reported to be traitors? Answer. Well, 
actually nothing uh, happened to them because we all we were all students at that time so they simply implicate uh, one another as traitors and there was no clear basis for that allegation or implication at all Mr. Longren, I'm, I'm talking about the period of democratic Campuchia. What happened to people in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs who were found and considered to have betrayed the country or conspired with traitors? Answer. At that time, nothing noticeable happened. À l'époque, rien de très remarquable ne s'est passé. Let's, uh, let's talk about uh, a couple of the people who are identified in your biography. If we could turn, turn now to Khmer page, yes, yes Khmer page 00003716, please. Question. Je voudrais que l'on projette la page 00 And if you could uh, show the uh, pair paragraph uh, D that starts with the words uh, in English in terms of relationships. Um, excuse me, Mr. President. Pardon, Monsieur le Président. Uh, mon confrère, pour l'accusation, pourrait-il préciser les, les pages dans les diverses versions afin que nous puissions suivre So, w was the request uh, for to have the ERN pages in all three languages? Is that, yes. Sorry. Uh, the page that I'm that I'm now going to be uh, re referencing is page in English zero zero seven five four three zero two, in French zero zero seven five two three five eight, and in again in Khmer three seven one six. Now there is there is a, a paragraph here um, in which you reference relationships with a number of people uh, who you describe as being in the clique of uh, Sarin Chak. Um, could you first of all tell us who Sarin Chak, and I, I hope I am pronouncing his name correctly, but who, who was that person? Res, uh, response. Saren Cha was then the minister for foreign affairs. He was the former foreign minister uh, in the uh, royal government of the National Union of Cambodia, uh, which is the government in exile in Beijing. And, and when you referred to his clique, what did you mean by that?
Réponse. I refer to a certain chart at that time because uh, I worked with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs back then. Monsieur le Président, excusez-moi d'interrompre à nouveau l'audience, mais sur les documents qui m'ont été donnés en français, je n'ai pas de numéro de RN. Alors, euh, je ne peux pas suivre les débats. Alors, c'est la page 7 sur 15 et le numéro de RN est euh, situé en haut à gauche. Ah. 7 sur 15. The President, the co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Le Président, la parole est au Merci, Monsieur le Président. The uh, question I was trying to ask uh, Mr. Long Nguyen, um, the first person who is identified in the paragraph we've been looking at uh, is a Mr. Tep Sum An. Can you tell us who Tep Sum An was? Answer. Réponse. Sam Ang was the a diplomatic representative in Egypt or in Africa, I cannot uh, remember. But he was a member of the diplomatic corps. And he used to work with certain 
chat as well. Avec Sarine Chak aussi. And when Sarin Cha came to Beijing, uh, he came Chak along with Sarin uh, Cha as well. Pékin, il était accompagné aussi de Tep Sarin. Had he been the ambassador to Algeria? Is that the country? En Algérie, est ce, cela le pays en question? Nanaye, uh, who who are you referring to? I'm sorry. Le témoin vous parlez de qui? Mr. Tep Sam An was was the country that he it was Algeria. Est-ce que Tep Sam An était ambassadeur? He was not. He was le not a, a, the ambassador, Il but ambassador. Uh, he was the probably a third secretary or second secretary. I cannot remember of the. He was probably a, at that time a commercial attaché or so at that Ou, time. Uh, il devait être attaché commercial, quelque chose du style. In 1976, uh, was he still located in Algeria or had he returned Algérie, to Cambodia by that time? But a lot more Cambodia when I... He returned to Cambodia by that time. And was he working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1976? Answer. In 1976, he returned to Cambodia. But those who had to come back to Cambodia, they had to stop by uh, Beijing, and they had to work for Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Beijing. And after he came to Cambodia from Beijing, was he working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Phnom Penh? Answer. I cannot recall. Uh, Mr. Long Naren, um, S21 prisoner list D108 26. Point two six indicates that Mr. Tep Saman, ambassador to Algeria, entered S21 on the 23rd of October 1976. Was he working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs during or prior to October 1976? I am not sure. Réponse, je ne suis pas sûr. Because once he came back to Cambodia, um, actually, I think he did not uh, work Cambodge, at the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs under uh, Mr. Yang Sari. Were you aware, aware at the time you wrote this biography that Mr. Tep Saman was one of the people who had been arrested and purged by the party? Answer, I'm sorry, I don't know. Je suis désolé, je ne sais pas. Would it surprise you to know that Question. many of the people whose names are in your biography and whose relationships you discussed ended up at S21?
Answer. I don't know. Réponse, je ne sais pas. The, uh, in that same paragraph, there is a reference to a Mr. Van Pini. Uh, Can you tell us Pini. who who Mr. Van Pini was? Van Pini. He was the second uh, uh, secretary of Cambodian diplomatic mission in Egypt. Mission diplomatic du Cambodge en Egypt. Was he located in Egypt? in 1976 or 1977 or 1977? Answer, I'm sorry, I don't Réponse. remember. Je ne me souviens pas. Do you remember why it was that you had to explain your relationship with Mr. Van Pani in your biography? Answer. At that time, they asked me uh, who else worked uh, in Beijing. Mais à l'époque, on m'avait demandé qui d'autre euh, travaillait à Pékin. Who was it that Question. asked you that? Qui vous a demandé cela? I'm, I'm afraid I cannot uh, remember. Je ne me souviens pas. Was it people you worked for Question. at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Est-ce des gens pour lesquels vous travaillez, sous lesquels vous travaillez, au ministère des Affaires étrangères? Answer. No, no, there was no one requested it. No, person ne me l'a demandé. It seem, it seems that you are a little reluctant to testify. Is there some reason that you are reluctant to testify today, Mr. Longnerin? No, I have, I have, I have nothing. I am not uh, reluctant to do that. You, you have no reluctance about testifying against your former boss, Mr. Ng Suri. Answer. No, no, I am not at all reluctant. If I can recall it, I would tell all what I can remember. Well, in a little bit, I'm going to go back to your statement that you provided to the investigating judges uh, a couple of years ago. 
Um, but before we do that, um, I want to talk a little bit more about your relationship with Ying Sari. Um, he, he is someone you've known uh, for almost 40 years, is that correct? Mr. President, I'm sorry I could not hear the, uh, the Khmer uh, version of the audio very well. I'll repeat the question. Um, this, the, the question for the record was whether you have known Ing Suri for almost 40 years. Yes, uh, that was correct because it exact. When he worked uh, with the government in exile in Beijing, Mr. Ying Sari was a special envoy of this royal government and a special envoy representing the uh, domestic resistance forces as well. And Mr. Ying Sari was the uh, secretary, the, uh, the head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, during the period of Democratic Kampuchea when you worked there. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And your relationship, did your relationship with Mr. Ng Sari continue after January 1979? After the 17th of January 1979, I have never had any contact with uh, Mr. Ying Sari. He lived uh, with his family, and I uh, was married, and then I lived with my family. The President. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Longneren. Now uh, it is an appropriate time for. Uh, an adjournment and the court will resume at 11. Thank you very much.